Hello friends, Don Wilson here. And um, I gotta tell you, I am just so excited to have just picked up this package from the post office. It was uh, waiting for me while at the Arts Conference. Um, this is fresh in from New Zealand. This is a uh, five inch Berliner. And um, with having copied over 300 sides at this point, um, just really excited to have another 5 inch Berliner come in. Um, of all the discs I've done, this is the ninth 5 inch Berliner that I will have the opportunity to copy. And this one's unusual. Well, they're all unusual. Uh, but this is the first one that I've had come in that's broken. Made out of uh, rubber. They're usually pretty robust. But this one apparently has had a hard life. And I'm looking forward to restoring it. And then making copies of it. Um, this one's a recitation. Uh, a Byron poem. Well, a short excerpt from a rather, rather verbose Byron poem. As we can see, uh, fairly minimal packaging, but well, being rubber, that should be just fine. And it is already broken. Even broken, they're not exactly inexpensive records. But here we have it. Number 23, By Thy Cold Breast. Uh, having been pressed in these cardboard sheets and traveled halfway around the world uh, seems to have helped the separation a bit. Now one of the nice things about this being uh, rubber, gutta percha, as they say, the type of rubber, that there are no pieces missing and that it's a very clean break. Um, previous experimentation has shown that uh, this type of rubber will plasticize around 150 degrees Fahrenheit so the idea is that I'm simply going to warm it up to approximately that temperature and lay it on a perfectly flat uh, warmed granite surface um, being either a remnant of countertop or my actual countertops and then allow it to um, cool back to room temperature and then hopefully that will take the uh, the wave out of this then I'll simply use some uh, laboratory grade uh, masking tape that's um, acid free and chemical resistant should be able to sit there for a very long time. Um, that way we're not modifying the original. I'll be able to make copies and uh, those copies may have uh, evidence of the crack but um, well it will be fixed and the copies will be perfectly playable with the original preserved. So we'll have some details on that process uh, coming up shortly. So I put this one under hot water and um, I noticed that some um, dirt came off it which made me rather nervous so immediate, immediately uh, I switched to cool water and uh, the gentlest soap that I had. The disc cleaned up quite nice and using a gentle heat from a hair dryer on a flat surface. Um, We can take a look and look at that. It is now dead flat. The crack is nice and tight, almost invisible. So I'll fill that in with a little bit of uh, paraffin or beeswax for uh, sake of the copies having less of a tick. And I think that we're in pretty good shape. Um, so the, uh, the front of this disc is this uh, milk chocolate brown. And the back of it is nearly black. 
Uh, so uh, the seller did mention that this sat in uh, direct sunlight for several decades. So I am a little concerned about um, uh, the surface of this having um, uh, some sort of degradation. So I don't think I'm going to try to play this one on a uh, modern turntable, or even on a modern turntable. I think that I'm going to wait for the first copies to uh, come off until uh, seeing what the audio sounds like. Uh, but, I uh, can't really tell from the cell phone, but the, uh, the condition is quite nice. Uh, other than that uh, tight crack, there's uh, only some very minor needle digs, no scrapes or scratches, barely even any uh, scuffs or rub marks. So I'm hopeful that this will be one of the cleaner um, uh, <laughs> recitations that, um, uh, that we have on 5-inch disc. So uh, we'll find out in a few days when the molding and the casting operations are complete. So uh, I don't mind admitting that the excitement of finding out what's on this record got to me and uh, I overnighted some quick setting silicone and uh, I already had some quick setting uh, polyurethane so uh, it's been 30 hours since I received the disc it's repaired molded and uh, the first copy's here so I'm gonna plug the phone into the mixer and in a moment we can um, here for the first time in probably over a century what's on this disc. Hey! 